I was a part of the task force in the South Atlantic when we went to liberate the Falkland Islands. They hit the ship and they ignited the fuel. We lost 48 men. Uh, I was the closest to the, f the bomb to survive. I have head, face, hand, arm, leg, back, chest, scarring. I was offered to be brought out of the army to play rugby, uh, but all that went. At the age of 20, my life changed. We firmly believe that behind every scar, there is a story. Uh, we are privileged to meet and speak with and work with people with scars and with stories every day of the week. The, the Scar Free Foundation is a national medical research charity uh, working in the UK. Our mission is to achieve scar-free healing within the generation and to transform the lives of those people living with disfiguring conditions. Simon Weston is a great friend of the Scar Free Foundation. He's been associated with the charity from day one. He's our lead ambassador. And um, I think he brings to our cause uh, a, a personality, um, his own story, of course. Um, but also, um, it's interesting comparing the outcome for someone like Simon Weston with some of the casualty um, evacuated uh, Afghan and Iraq uh, veterans we see today. Different injuries, different stories, but interestingly, still the same problem. They're living with scars and they would all want a scar-free future. I was suicidal, uh, I was hugely depressed and I ate huge amounts and drank huge amounts. But unfortunately, when you're disfigured, when you are scarred and it is visible, it's almost impossible to hide it. And why should we hide? I'm gorgeous. So the veterans are special for a number of reasons. I think the most humbling thing is the selflessness. You know, the selflessness that took them to the front line, the commitment to serve, um, the sacrifice. They're, really, they're continuing to live that through their membership of the Kazabak Club and through their contribution to medical research. There is nothing selfish in what they do for medical research. It is all selfless uh, and their only interest is helping the next generation. Scarring, wounding was a source of shame. They had somehow failed. Not all of them, but the majority, so they tried to hide it. If you see somebody with a prosthetic arm or a prosthetic leg, take a leg for example, more often than not now, you will see them in shorts. You won't see them in long trousers. So I would say that generationally, this generation, and all credit to them, it's a badge of honour. It's, I've done my bit for my country, like all veterans have. I would say that the Scar Free Foundation relationship with veterans and the Veterans Foundation is unique, developing new treatments, uh, new therapies, new ways of ensuring that those people who are injured in the battlefield in future conflict can have a much better prospect of a scar free uh, future as well but also to see the potential, you know, what, how the world will be different. And the world will only be different thanks to organisations like the Veterans Foundation. People give to the Veterans Foundation, um, either through the lottery or whatever, they give money to the Veterans Foundation to support veterans. This work is supporting not only today's veterans, but hopefully tomorrow's veterans as well who are wounded in, in battle or, or wounded in whatever way, injured in whatever way. That, that's really powerful. To end up with a scar-free world, wouldn't it be wonderful? Together we can change the lives of veterans who bear the scars of their service. Please support charities like the Scar Free Foundation by playing the Veterans Lottery. If you'd like to support charities like the Scar Free Foundation, please play the Veterans Lottery and support the Veterans Foundation. Thank you.